How long do you think it'll be before Bill and Belle get here? I don't know. They said they were turning around and coming back straight away. I just can't hang around here doing nothing. Oh, I know. Um, look, why don't you go and tidy up the toys? That'd be great. I should go. BJ, I need to check on him. Mm -hmm. I need to go. No, darling. I have to go. You need me. I have to go. Oh, my God. I don't mind going there first thing in the morning to break the news to her. I, I just don't know what I'll say if she reckons she's responsible. Which she will, of course. But, I mean, given what you've been through, Alf, she's more likely to listen to you than anyone else, even me. I can't believe you're having this discussion. What Sally needs now more than anything else is common sense, not this near-death nonsense. There you go, sis. I only know what I know. Yeah, my point exactly. Well, what if me and Sally are right? You are not. Now, your heavenly chats with Elsa are the result of your brain tumour. And Sally's pleasant morning with Tom came after she'd been administered drugs for an operation. Except, on that pleasant morning, Tom told Sally something that she couldn't possibly have known. And it's something that we've since proved is true. Oh, such as? Well, I'm not at liberty to say. It's a private matter. Oh, how convenient. You know, I'm not hearing anything that can't be explained by chance or Sally's subconscious reaching conclusions while some are anaesthetic. Except that Tom did suggest there might be a death attached to Leah. How do you explain that? Coincidence. <laughs> have to be a flaming big one. I got CJ a little bit back off to sleep. Do you think Dr. Armstrong will get the message tonight? How do I know that, Colleen? Well, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Do you think we should call an ambulance? She needs a friend at the moment as well as a doctor. That's why we're waiting for Rachel to come. We have to do something, Irene. A trip to the hospital couldn't hurt. You could take her. Leah, love. We're going to go for a drive to the hospital. Get you something to calm you down. I'll look after the little You won't have to worry about them. Okay. Come on, sweetheart. It's okay. It's a siren. Come on, love. We're going. Next. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's suddenly starting to feel more like a date, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <sighs> Listen, this is really great. The last time I stepped in the deep end, it, it worked out really badly for me. It's okay, isn't it, that we, we don't rush this? Oh, absolutely rush, yeah. First and foremost, we're friends, I mean, and I think really, really good friends, and I do not want to jeopardise that. However, I may need a cold shower. <laughs> well, thank you. No, oh, you're very, very welcome. Rachel, come in the entire What's happened? Love, please, can you come? There's been a terrible accident. Leah's in a very bad way. What's happened? Leah's may have been hurt. And, uh, no, 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 I came out all wrong. It's, it's not Leah. It's, it's Dan. He's been killed. Oh. oh please, can you come? I, Leah's not coping at all. I'm trying to get her to the hospital. Get you over there, right? How did it happen? I'm not, I'm not sure of the details. I think it was Abigail and he fell. straight to the hospital pharmacy. You might miss the chemist, all right? Yeah, sure. I'll get back as soon as I can. Thank you. Listen, why don't you two take a break? You deserve it. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Five stages of 
stages of grieving that you're going to go through. But you know all that from personal experience. Just like you know that everybody does it differently, in their own time, in their own way. Another thing we both know is that the grieving process can't start until you acknowledge that there's a need for it. This is not about forgetting Dan or leaving him behind because that is never going to happen. From this moment in your life onwards, he is always going to be a part of you. Just like you were always a part of him very good part in our nature so often comes from the people that we love deeply and who love us. The death draws a line. It separates our memories from our actual living life. And that's the line that you need to cross. Because there is a child who is also a part of you who is going to feel this loss deeply. Death cannot be about clinging on Leah for you or for Dan. But it's another part of life. 